Even after 68 years, there are some in Japan who still find it hard to accept their country lost the Second World War. August the 15th at the Yasukuni Shrine is a roll call for every right-wing nationalist group in Japan. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe did not turn up here today, but more than a hundred other senior Japanese politicians did. Like Mr. Abe, these men and women say visiting the Yasukuni Shrine has nothing to do with politics. Whatever politicians like Mr. Abe say, this place is deeply political. Until 1945, the Yasukuni Shrine was the center of a Shinto cult that worshipped Japan's emperor as a god. And today, the History Museum, which is just over behind me here, still portrays a version of World War II history that either ignores or denies the crimes committed by Japanese troops in China and Korea. And that is why Japanese prime ministers coming here is a problem. But don't tell that to one of the right-wing nationalists outside. It's nothing to do with other countries, he says. The Prime Minister of Japan should visit and express his gratitude to the spirits of the dead soldiers who risked their lives to protect our country. Even many young Japanese no longer accept there is a problem. It may be controversial for Mr. Abe to visit as a public figure, he says, but personally, I feel as long as Mr. Abe visits as a private individual, there shouldn't be any problem. Most of the tens of thousands of people who braved searing heat today to pay their respects have no political agenda. And Japan is a free country. People here can express themselves however they see fit. But people in China and Korea looking at these scenes will say it confirms what they already thought, that Japan still finds it very difficult to face up to the horrors of its past. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News at the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo.